and Trey. Trey and Goose. Now they're calling it a joint tour, a cola headlining tour, I suppose. I don't know if they use that term. There will be collaborations involved. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do, if some nights Trey will go on first, some nights Goose will go on first. There's eight shows total, and um, I don't know. I feel like maybe Goose is the main event, and Trey's band is sort of there for the ride. Obviously a very, um, a strong addition to help Goose, but I think Goose could probably do this on their own, and I don't know if Trey's band could do this on their own. I saw Trey's band, it was years ago, but at a, at a small arena on the campus of Xavier University in Cincinnati, and the place was like almost empty. I mean, it was not, it was not a good sight. And it sounded horrible. <laughs> so anyhow, never mind all of that. And I do wonder, is this like, is this another sign that Trey and Fish know that the end is near and they're just like, hey man, it's time to give back now. We spent our whole career just being all about Fish and trying to get things done. Now maybe it's time to give back to some of these younger bands that we've inspired. Or is it a sign that while someday Fish may go away, Trey is never going anywhere. That guy is going to be up there on stage until he's 84 years old playing guitar somewhere, singing everything's right except for my knees and shoulder and everything else is what he'll be thinking. So I don't, I don't know, I do wonder like, huh, <clears throat> this is not something that uh, they've done a lot of in their career, you know? I don't know, especially since Fish has kind of become like, I don't know, man, like kind of the kings of the jam world, you know? They've always sort of stayed off on their own. I mean, they wouldn't even do that damn ice bucket challenge years ago with the disco biscuits. They were like, nah, we're too big for that shit. They don't play social media games with other jam bands, and I don't blame them. I wouldn't either if I was Fish. But Trey is not Fish, so he's got to go out with Goose. And uh, I'll be, hopefully it'll be couch toured. I don't know. I'll check out. I don't think I'm going to watch and listen to all eight shows, but I'll certainly check out one night. And I um, guess maybe I'll have to do a little refresher on Goose. I was getting ready to go down, to take the, go down the Twiddle route, and now this happens. Well, I guess it'll have to make a left turn into Goose territory. I will say, I heard from a couple of Goose fans yesterday. I don't know if I speak the language of Goose. Now, Goose fans may watch my videos and be like, what the fuck's this guy talking about? What the hell's a chomper? It must be some old geezer thing. They know what a geezer is, certainly. All right, man. Well, that's it. I don't know. I don't have a ton of thoughts. You know, I don't know if people were expecting me to be upset, expecting me to crap on Goose. I would crap on how Trey looked in that promo, and I know that thing didn't probably have a very big budget, that video they put out, but boy, Trey didn't look good in there. Old mustache guy and Goose looked good. I've been working on a mustache here. Didn't even know about this. My mustache will never be as glorious as the one that guy rocks, but I will say, though, I can if I take the hair down, I can compete with Trevor. Probably my favorite part of Goose is Trevor and just his overall thing. I think I can compete with that. The mustache, I got nothing. Sunglasses and glorious hair, fuck you, Trevor. I'm coming for you. All right, guys, enjoy Goose and Trey. Boom, we're out of here. And you know, one other thing, as far as the collaborations go, I'm really hoping that Trey comes out on stage wearing a pair of short shorts, plays rhythm guitar, and calls himself Bob Anastasio, or perhaps Trey Weir. Goose and Trey, Trey and Goose. You know, when Trey performed with Goose back a while ago, they uh, they said, like, can we keep him? And I'll tell you what, Goose, you can, in fact, keep Trey, but Paige, Mike, and John, and the rest of us Fish fans, we get Billy Strings. That's the deal. Trey, see you later, buddy. It's been nice knowing you, but have fun with Goose. You gotta grow a mustache, I've heard. I'm trying to. I was working on this before the announcement, actually. Now, I don't have dark hair like that guy at Goose, so my mustache isn't as cool, but it's coming around, it's coming around. So they've announced eight dates. It seems kind of like a co-tour, co-headliner, I don't know. They don't, I don't think they want to say, like, Goose is headlining this tour. But, I mean, they kind of are, right? I mean, maybe, I don't know. All right.